Oh, Jet Kenny in and out, I think it was, in the centre. But it's the left-hand side and right-hand side. Look at, this. Look at Jackson Collins. Absolutely flying on the right-hand side. You can just see him pitch the screen. And you can see the sweep coming in the play as well towards the north. But it's the North Bondi Club. Ax, uh, Action Jackson. Collins, second for the right-hand side. Probably got the better run at the moment. We'll pick up the other clubs. We've got Waves building out in the back there, Duffy. Ah, uh, swell building. We can see, but it's uh, Jackson Collins, right-hand side. He might get a little bit of a window here. He's going to go left pedal down. He'll try and sneak out of this one, left pedal down. I'll take over from here, mate. Don't you worry about that. As we take it from the front of the race, you can see uh, North Bondi there, Jackson Collins, and uh, Alexander Headlands. Not that of Jet Kenny, but the other uh, the other team there. It's going to be Jamo Porter there. Jamo Porter there. Jaden Erskine, the big man from Karamam, and Norton there for the A team of Northcliffe BMD. Jackson Collins, though, rounds that can first with Porter on his hip. I reckon that'll be Chapman there for Mermaid. So a big paddle there for Chapman. He's, uh, he's turned himself around. He's uh, turned himself around from a bit of a swimmer into a ski paddler. He was uh, a round winner a few years back in the surf race and now has that specialisation in a ski. Uh, a few of the boys starting to convert from the swim leg into the ski leg as we see the waves on for Jackson oh, Collins. Collins. Looting point on top of this one. Jackson Collins... Oh, what a phenomenal performance to pull over top. You can see him just working back towards the north. He's picked that up before the last third can, the third market can. He's picked that up. He's gone right pedal down. That's going to put him out to a, a possibly a, a two or three wave advantage. He's got the armchair ride coming in, looks over his right. Sitting on the back of this nice little swell to come back in towards the shore break. He really set that up, didn't he, Duffy, right from the word go. Yeah, he exploded out of the blocks. His daddy's an Olympian, Danny Collins as well. Look at this, pulls out the top of the inside wave as well. But just behind him, one or two waves. He's been held up here now, and this second wave and third wave is coming through. So Yeah, second see... wave there, you can see it's Northcliffe and Mermaid. So that would be Norton and Chapman, as well as that Porter from Alex. Porter. So a, a bit of a lead there for Collins that just didn't quite eventuate for him. Taddy McDonald there for Surface Paradise on the second wave. There's my boys coming through. There we go, Norton up second as well. Come around here, you see Jackson Collins, the massive unit of Jackson Collins and North Bondi. The play skid is coming around now. We'll pick up those as second and third. So there we go. Norton, Chapman's there as well. Porter's there as well. SP Love there as well. We go from the ski. Now we go from the fastest craft to the slowest in terms of swimming. This, to me, is the make or break of this event. And you see Kai Kinsella <coughs> heading a little bit to the north there, Duffy. Yeah, no, not quite as much as... Uh, didn't quite go as south as what the other boys did. Uh, Kai Kinsella, surf race champ. So he's been out there, knows these conditions, whereas the boys from Northcliffe there, Matt Poole, as well as Mermaid, heading further down the beach, knowing that there's a bit of a swell on and they could get held up on that back bank. But Burley, the uh, the advice there from Kingy, probably watching the girls early and how Brielle did, just to punch out through there and get the most of it. As we see Kinsella there, right on the inside. We look back at the pack though, and it's going to be Northcliffe, Alex, Mermaid, and Surface Paradise. So that'll be Nath Gray there for Surface Paradise, sitting in about 4 4 fifth. Well, speaking of the devil, Duffy, walking past the phenomenal swim leg of the Tatman Brill Cooper. Talk us through the conditions out there for the swim leg, Brill. It's really tricky out there. There's actually a lot more waves coming through than you think. And I think I ducked under probably about 10 out the back and just had to be patient, make sure I went right to the bottom and I actually popped up and I didn't realise how far I'd got swept down. And the sweep is really strong here. And I think having that home ground advantage is definitely helping. And got the green water nice and early with a good 20, 30 metre lead. But let's talk about that wave. What a body wave and uh, great skills. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, I turned that swim can. I reckon I probably did 20 strokes and I felt that little lift and I was like, if I can get this to that to the beach, that'll make my day that little bit easier. Well, to me, that was wave of the day. Great body surfing. Well done to uh, the BHMP. Can the boys do it now? Oh, yeah, definitely. I think it's pretty incredible what Kingy's done over the last few months with our squad. We had eight girls in the final and eight boys in the iron. And then uh, once again, we had four girls tackling teams and I think we've got six boys. So it's pretty amazing to have that depth throughout our whole entire squad and I'm excited to see how it goes this summer.
Great job. There you go, Brielle Cooper. Well done the Open Tutland and uh, best of luck in the Iron Series next week as well. What's the update here, Duffy? Yeah, they're still just uh, tracking over the top of that uh, bank at the moment. As we see, it's uh, just starting to get a bit woolly out here with the rain coming down. We've been pretty lucky all day long not to be in the rain and to avoid the weather. But as we say, last race of the day, it's going to throw up everything. It's going to give us the best finish of the summer surf you've ever seen. We're going to go here with a taplin, trying to pick up the club caps as they go on through. It's a little bit difficult, but someone has shot the gun right now and uh, got themselves a little bit of a bridge away from there. I don't know if it is Kai Kinsella. It could be. And he was the one that attacked it straight through the middle. And I reckon he might have found himself out there, out in the lead by about 15 metres, back to the teams of uh, Alexandra Headlands and uh, Northcliffe there, Matt Poole. Yeah, I think that is Kai out in front. He has a really high cadence and rating and a really st short stroke length and breathing out so we'll have a look Maruchidor I reckon it could well. be even Maruchidor it could be that of Hayden Cotter and uh, he is an absolute super fresh uh, super fish and he has flown out there so Hayden Cotter has flown here and he's got himself a solid little lead just trying to look out though it looks like there might be people uh, yep just about to get to the can now so that'll be Maruchidor and he has had a phenomenal swim there I couldn't are. tell you where they entered the water, but he's got him up in first spot at the moment. Yeah, I really thought this tunnel would be run down the swim leg, not only going out, but also coming in. We have some massive swells building up the back. As you mentioned, we're sitting going from two to three foot up to about probably a good solid four foot now. These swells starting to come in with the incoming tide. And we think that on the screen as we try and pick it up in the live footage, it's hard as the, as the rain comes in as well. There's a set breaking out the back right on the swim can as well. We'll try and pick it up where we're, we're sort of predicting it could be that Marici door to back to a, a burly one's on. Okay. Oh, trying to hold that wave. He looks like he's in the mix at the moment. Still trying to fight, still trying to fight. And coming out, it is Marici door of Hayden Connor. That is some different, uh, style, different style of Brielle's body surfing Unbelievable well. though. Stay out in front. Different wave as well. Brielle Cooper got the big one and was able to just take the force of it down, whereas Hayden Cotter had to fight over the top of that little fat section and uh, work over the top, and he's done a magnificent job. He finds himself in the shore now trying to pick little up this broken water. one, Does and he's well. done well there as well. Great job. Take your hat off, Hayden Cotter. Magnificent swim out here for your team, Maruchidor. He's got a couple of happy club mates as well. I can see club mates banging their hands together. Don't get too excited. We've still got one leg to go yet. And uh, anything can happen in these conditions, but he's a commanding lead at the moment to the Marici Door Club. Look at him work again. Hayden Cotter, what a swim leg in the middle leg of that. The Tatlin Relay waves at the back building for the uh, minor places, trying to come over the top as well. But it's Marici Door, the white with the blue stripes and the black in there as well of Hayden Cotter. Two legs down, one to go. And there's no waves building out the back, so that first, you know, your leaders make the, the most of opportunities, and that's Cotter coming round, nice little wave. He'll now tag over his club. Palmer there, the he'll, be, he'll be tagging Palmer there from uh, his club, and Maruchidor are going to have a nice handy lead going into the last leg of the day in this Open Taplin final. So it's Maruchidor, the black swan. Can they get it done? Yeah, Palmer's been in good form as well. He raced the trial uh, last week as well. Been in good forms, but there's a lot to negotiate out in front. There is uh, plenty of the ocean out there at the moment, plenty of swell coming in, plenty of resistance, but it's Maricidor in one, but it's a very big commanding lead. Maricidor, the Black Swans have at the moment. So it's Maricidor one. Here we go back to battle now for two, three, four, five, and six. He'll probably sneak through the next one here, Palmer, and it'll be uh, into the green water, but we find it very hard for Maricidor to get beat from here. So, yeah, we got the boys hitting the water now, or hitting the sand, I should say. It's Kai Kinsella, it's, Car it's Carberry from Corumban, and as well, it's Naif Gray, I think, from Surface Paradise. So there's your minor place getters at the moment, but it is that Palmer and Maruchidor. They have an absolute monstrous lead at the moment, and uh, it's going to be hard to track them down as we see Corey Fletcher fly off the beach. We see Corumban as well, Burley and Alexandra Headland. So it was Burley that was coming through. Here comes the Surface Paradise. Paradise crew now, but it's uh, Maruchidor out in front at the moment. Yeah, that looked like uh, Benny Munro there from Grumman Vikings going in as well, but we can see it is Maruchidor out in front negotiating the back break. There's the chase pack working very hard as they head out. We've got Grumman on the left-hand side of the chase pack, but out in front, 
Yes, for Richard all little wave at the back negotiate. As you can see, the red and yellow swim can on the live stream. Adam Palmer looks at this, have a look over his shoulder. He goes, where are they? I can't see him anywhere. Forget about the rest, mate. Pin your ears and go. He's just trying to find out. He can't find the can. He can't find the can. He's not sure where the can is. He's resetting himself. He's heading north. He's heading far north now towards the can. You can see he's had to adjust. He's had to adjust where he was at the moment. And now he's making his way across to that of the green and yellow can to turn around the first marker. So he pulled up stumps, had a bit of a look around. Now he makes his way over towards that of the second can. All right, now heads over towards that of the second. Second board can is a chase pack making their way, but it's a oh, the swells building at the back of this next one. Oh, he's going to get an absolute cracker here, Duffy. Yeah, if he's going to... Palmer, he's going to be on an absolute <laughs> cracker to victory. He's going to have a little bit of a party wave here. Look at the size of this swell. I know it totally doesn't do it justice on the live stream right now as it starts to build, but that is a solid four, five foot wave. You can see just the size of it there as he pulls down. That's going to be a winning wave there for the team Maruchidor, Matt Palmer, Adam Palmer, and I'm guessing uh, Hayden Cotter there with that magnificent swim in the middle. How's the footage? How's the footage? The camera work that's being done by the crew as well. Look at this. A nice little close-up of Richidor coming in, working the ocean of what have been superb conditions here at Burley for the last day and a half. Incoming tide, incoming swell as well. But it's Maritidol's moment. This is our final event of the day as well. Love presentations and a wrap-up coming very, very shortly in what has been a sensational day. But it's the Sunshine Coast, the Maritidol Club from the Sunshine Coast. You've got time to celebrate, boys. Ah, oh, supports the man bun as well. You can go quick with the man bun. High fives all around. As he comes up around the corner. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the open mail tap the winners, Marichidor. Oh, great battle, Duffy. Look at this for second and third as well. Great yeah, battle race for second on and third. For second and third. That's for sure. Looks like we got uh we can pick up Corey Fletcher on the right hand side and Alexander Headlands. So it's Burley versus Alexander Headlands, Cam Guffrey versus that of Corey Fletcher. All right, who's got the legs? They're both pretty quick across the sand, the two boys. I can see Corey's got to work a bit in the deeper water. Cam's going to get a better run. You've got to work with the ocean, not fight it. And you can see Guthrie looking to pull over the top. But then Fletcher gets another little lift. He gets another lift, the second spurt. He's got the better side. Guthrie's up. Fletcher's up. Guthrie's up. Fletcher's up. Guthrie's up on the inside. He'll go around for a second. Fletcher fights back. Oh, go Alexander Headley in second. Good paddle from Bevy, BMD North, in back there in fourth as well. Ah, oh, big battle here. Tex Dixon coming up. Murphy there as well. Oh, the North Bondi boys. You've got to love the battle for the minor places.